How to install Viper for Android sound mod on your Xiaomi Poco F1 running a custom ROM based on Android 10. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Viper for Android sound mod on your Xiaomi Poco F1 running a custom ROM based on Android 10. As you can see right now, I'm running the Pixel 4 ROM on my Poco F1, which is of course based on Android 10. What are the things which we need? You need to have Twerp recovery installed and you need to have root using Magisk. Now, because you're already running a custom ROM, I think it is safe to assume that you already have these two things set up in place. Another fair warning which I have for you peeps is that I am not responsible if you get into any boot loops. Make sure you have a backup of your current ROM because there are too many ROMs to test. And again, I am not responsible if you get into any boot loops. You are doing this at your own risk. What are the files which we need? All the files which we need are linked in the description of this video. Let me open file manager, click on show internal storage and then go into the internal storage because I have created a separate folder for Viper for Android. These are all the files which we need. So you need audio modification library zip file. Then you need SE Linux mode changer APK. Then you need Viper for Android FX zip file and the Viper for Android FX rootless zip file. Once you've downloaded all these files, the first thing we need to do is install this application called SE Linux mode changer. Click on continue, click on install. If you get a message that this application is blocked by Play Protect, all you need to do is click on the down arrow and then click on install anyway. Why are we getting this error message or this warning message? That is because this application changes your SE Linux status from enforcing to permissive and Google doesn't like that. What is the difference between SE Linux mode, permissive and enforcing? I have left a link for that in the description of this video and in the pinned comment as well. So feel free to read about it. And if you do not feel comfortable changing your SE Linux to permissive then you can you know stop the video right now and not do it once the application has installed successfully we need to click on the open button and then click on ok it will ask for super user request click on grant now as you can see it is now telling me that the enforcing option is disabled and the permissive one is enabled all you need to do is click on permissive this is going to change your kernel from enforcing to permissive and then we need to boot into twerp recovery so the first step to boot into twerp recovery is to power off your device once you've turned your phone off press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the twerp recovery boot logo first thing we need to do when we are in twerp recovery is to click on install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in my case i've created a separate folder called viper-10 if you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder so we will go into the folder which is viper-10 the first file which you need to flash is the v4afx-rootless. So we will select this rootless zip file and then swipe to confirm flash. Once the file is installed successfully, click on the home button, click on install. The next file which we need to flash is audio modification library. Select the file and then swipe to confirm flash. Once this is done, all you need to do is click on reboot system. Back on the lock screen, we can now unlock our device and now you need to open Magisk. So we will open Magisk manager and then click on the three button menu on the top left go into modules you will see that audio modification library module has been installed next thing click on the plus sign and if it asks you for any permissions click on allow now we need to go to the folder where we have downloaded all the files so click on the three dot menu on the top right and then click on show internal storage if you see hide internal storage you need not do anything just click on the three bar menu on the top left select your device's name and then navigate to the folder where you have the files in my case, it is Viper-10. So from here, we need to select the file, which is v4afx underscore v2.7.1.0 dot zip. And at this point, you also need to make sure that you're connected to the internet because this process will download the latest Viper for Android APK from the internet. Once the zip file has installed successfully, all we need to do is click on reboot. Back on the lock screen, we can now unlock our device, open the app drawer, and we have Viper for Android in the building. We can drag and drop this icon to the desktop, open the application. You can see it is saying opening presets menu, just tap anywhere on the screen. 
And now if you tap on the icon besides the settings icon, you will see a pop-up window which says neon enabled is yes, which means the drivers for Viper for Android have been installed successfully. We can give it a test. So we will open file manager and then click on audio and play this song or piece of music which I have on my phone. So as you can listen, the music is playing and we can go into Viper for Android, tap anywhere, enable master limiter, make sure the toggle is enabled, then tap on master limiter and then we can use the slider to increase or decrease the volume. The volume increased and the volume decreased. So there it is peeps, you can see that Viper for Android is working like a boss on the Xiaomi Poco F1 running a custom Android 10 ROM. And that will do it for this video peeps. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.